Hello, this is Isaac Lundgren. Today we will be using Photoshop to change a green background to a transparent background quickly across many images. For example, if you've got some sprites that you need a transparent background for to import into uh, a game engine such as Unity, this would be an action that you could use for that. The first thing to do would be to open an, a base image that you want to work with. So I've got this folder here full of images with green backgrounds and rather than going through them one at a time and changing the green background, I can do it once, create an action that's recording my choices and movements in Photoshop and then run that action through this entire folder that needs the same thing done to all of these images. So here's what we'll do first. Let's open a base image. Come here to the Actions tab if you don't have this button here, you can choose the Actions tab from the window at the top, Window Actions. Let's create a new action with this button down here. Tap the button, give it a name, and start recording. You'll notice the red button is uh, depressed to show that it is recording. So first thing we're going to do is unlock this layer. To unlock the layer, double click on the lock. Hit cancel as it will automatically open the layer style. The lock is now gone, the layer is unlocked. Next, we're going to remove the green. We'll use select, color range. Click on the color you want to remove. In this case, it's green, but you could choose other colors to remove if you had a different color that you wanted to remove. You click on the color, hold down the shift key to fine tune your selection, and you can adjust the fuzziness. Notice we're getting a preview of what our selection will be. In our case, we're going to select the green. You can hold down the shift and drag on the green to select more of the green. Notice our preview down here. You can adjust the fuzziness to make sure you're uh, getting the type of selection you want. Choose OK. These actions are being recorded in this list for this particular action. Next, press delete. That's removed all of the green from this image. We're going to deselect, select, deselect, or command or control D, control D for PC, command D for Mac. We've now deselected. The last thing we need to do is save and close. For my save and close, we're going to, um, I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to create a new folder within the folder of green images called edited. I'm going to save it right into this folder. Here it is in the folder. Before you do anything else, it's time to stop the action. Notice the different um, actions that we did throughout our Photoshop session have been recorded since the record button was going, including unlocking the background, selecting the green, deleting the green, deselecting, and saving. Notice we have our new edited folder here with our image that now has a transparent background. We can run this action across all of our images. First, let me delete the image that we uh, used as our test image out of the edited folder since we don't need two copies. It's going to run over this entire folder again. That image will get the same action performed on it again. We can close this image. We don't need to save the original. Now come up here to the file menu. Choose Automate, Batch, from our default actions list because that's where our action is we're going to choose the action that we just made green to transparent we're going to choose source folder for our folder we will navigate to the uh, sample image sprites that we're working on here we're going to choose that folder you have a variety of options you can check if you need to, including stop for errors, which I would recommend. 
You can also check the box Override Action Save As Commands. This will let the Save As part of our action come to play here. And for our destination, we're going to choose Folder. We're going to choose that edited folder. And we will name it our document name plus extension. The extension will be PNG. Compatibility with Windows and Mac. OK, let's run the action. Within just a few moments, our entire folder has now had the green background removed. Actions can be very useful, not just for remo removing green backgrounds. You can use them to lighten an entire folder of images. Um, the possibilities are endless, as long as it's a somewhat simple task or a task that can be repeated across many uh, different images. It will work great in an action. Hope you found this video useful. Subscribe to my page if you'd like to see more. Thank you.